Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix. You need to have Vanguard running to play League of Legends on your system and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into this step. So the reason is why most of users is having this issue is because of the Vanguard which is an actually an anti-cheat system. So we're going to talk about how we can fix this. So just go over here, search for the task manager like this and you can navigate to the task manager right now. And from here you have to cross check whether the right client is running over here in the background. So right now as you can see the right client is running. So what you need to do is if you find the right client is running or if you find the League of Legends is running or even if you find the Vanguard is running, what we need to do is we just need to go over here, right click on this one and go for end the task. And also you can also search over here at the top for the right client and make sure the right client is not running. If it is running you need to completely remove it and once afterwards you can also you can also search for the vanguard as well so if you find the vanguard tray not the vanguard tray but if you find the vanguard is running you need to close it as well or remove it from here if the league of legend is running just remove it as well and once everything is removed we just need to close this and move to the next step next step is all about we just need to go over here search for the services and you have to click over here and right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here search for vgc once you see, you can see the VGC is run, right click on this one and go to the properties. And right now, as you can see, the startup type has been set into the automatic. So if the startup type is automatic, what we need to do is we just need to make sure one thing that you need to change. If it is not in the automatic, you need to change this to the automatic. So right now, imagine if it is in manual, that means you have to change into automatic. So once it has been changed into automatic, you have to go for apply and go for OK. And also there is one more thing that you need to make sure one thing sometimes you know this service status will be stopped so if this is stopped you'll be having a start button over here which you need to click on it right now it is up and running so you don't have to do anything but if that is the case if it is stopped you have to click on the start button and you have to proceed further now we just need to close this and move to the next step next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here search for the settings over here and you have to go to the apps and you have to navigate to install it apps so search for the vanguard here at the top so if you find the right vanguard click on this one and you need to uninstall it after uninstalling is done all you have to do is just go back to the vanguard on the right client so what happens is you have to log in back to your account and once after you successfully log in back you don't have to worry on the vanguard vanguard will be created in the back so what you need to do is we just need to go over here once you sign in what we need to do is we just need to navigate to the League of Legends over here, go to League of Legends and if you're having any kind of update, just update. So by updating, the Vanguard will be reinstalled back and afterwards, most probably, the issue regarding this will be completely fixed. And also we have one more thing, just go over here to the start right click and directly navigate to the task manager. And right now what we need to do is just go over here to the startup apps. And right now if you find anything called VG tray, all you have to do is make sure this is enabled. So if it is disabled, we'll be having enable option. Right now this is enabled, so I don't have any option. So if it is disabled, what we need to do is right now as you can see disable, right click on this and enable it. And once the VG tray is enabled, all you have to do is just close this and go back and try. Most probably these steps can fix the issue up. And I hope this video is helpful. That's it. Bye.